Hi, I'm Andy Cohen, editor of ASI's Counselor Magazine, and we are here at the Counselor Awards Banquet this evening at the Field Museum in Chicago, Illinois. We're giving out many awards this evening, and we're talking to all the winners right here on camera, so check out what they had to say. Hi, I'm here with Eric Levin of Jetline, who is our Supplier Entrepreneur of the Year tonight. Eric, congratulations. Thank you very much. Now, Eric, Jetline has grown impressively over the past few years. What do you attribute some of the success to? Uh, that's a good question. I would say 24-hour rush service, very large inventories, and constantly increasing our communication with our distributors. Now, along those communication lines, you have had uh, an impressive customer service turnaround, a story that, that you really like to talk about. Uh, what would you say is the reason for that sort of customer service turnaround? What, would you, what were you focusing on? Well, I think one of the best lessons that I learned over the last few years was at the ASI Power Summit uh, two years ago when I was told to surround yourself with really good management. And about two years ago, I was able to hire someone who revolutionized our entire customer service department and got us thinking like distributors, not like suppliers. That's great. Well, Eric, thanks for joining us, and congratulations again. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Eric and Phil Rubin of Blue Generation, and the Rubin family is our family business of the year. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you guys have had some impressive growth over the last few years. What do you think is uh, the reasons for some of the success? Well, certainly, I have a wonderful family to work with, including my father and uh, my two uncles. And with all their wisdom and guidance and support, that enabled us to build Blue Generation to where it is today. That's great. Now, Phil, you've obviously seen the business through many, uh, many different you know, iterations. What would you say is, uh, is the reason for its long-term success these days? It's continually recreating ourselves. We've been through so many ups and downs trying times but we reinvent ourselves to the times and this has been the foundation of success it's a good message for all family businesses i would say all businesses, all businesses. good point well phil and eric thanks for joining us and congratulations again on winning the award thank, thank you. you thank you very much thank you Hi, I'm here with Laura Forbes of Zebra Marketing, who just won our Woman of Distinction Award. Laura, congratulations. Thank you so much. It's quite an honor. Now, Laura, how does it feel to win this award this evening? Well, I was surprised and delighted, and I think it's um, quite a tribute to not just me, but to my staff, my colleagues, and all the zebras that I work with. All the zebras. So is everybody called a zebra? We call them the herd. The herd. That's fantastic. Now, I understand that you do some, some so online social networking. How is that going? Well, we're just getting our feet wet. We're learning. And, and my colleague told me that yesterday we signed on the number 100 person onto our Facebook site. So I'm pretty excited about that after just two weeks. There you go. So you got some followers on yes, there. That's great. Well, Laura, thanks for joining us. And congratulations on the award. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Bonnie Sandy of DARD, who is our International Person of the Year tonight. Bonnie just won that award. Bonnie, congratulations. Thank you very much. It's my honor to be here tonight. Well, thank you for joining us. Now, Bonnie, you, you do a lot of business internationally, obviously. You're very familiar with the global market. What do you think some of the reasons for your success in that, in that international market are? Well, I've been exhibiting for, in Hong Kong for over four years, and between my international team in the U.S. and my Hong Kong partner, Michael Raphael, we kind of um, grown that developed in that area and really grew in different countries. And now we're actually shipping and um, delivering orders in 48 different countries worldwide. Great. Now, DART is obviously expanding its business internationally. How's that effort going? It's going really well. Um, you know, obviously we're in a global recession, not just a U.S. recession, so it's a little bit slower overseas as well. But it hasn't impacted the other countries the way it has the U.S. and the good thing is I see it's a very slow you know, upturn right now in the U.S. market. So that's, that's a good thing. Now, here's the big question. As our International Person of the Year, how many miles do you put on the frequent flyer account each year? I don't even know if I could count that high. A lot. It goes um, too high. Yes. I mean, I travel to Hong Kong quarterly, but now with my new addition, um, Michael Raphael and my team overseas, I might be able to slow it down a little bit. All right. Well, that sounds good. Bonnie, thanks for joining us, and congratulations on the award. Thank you very much. Thank you, ASI. Thank you. 
I am here with Jim Moore of the MI Line, who is our Marvin Spike Lifetime Achievement Award winner. Jim, congratulations. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Now, Jim, how does it feel to win this award this evening? Uh, quite frankly, when I got the call, I was dumbfounded. Uh, in fact, if you asked Tim, I told him, he said, you've got to be joking. <laughs> Now, you've obviously had some long-term success in this market. Uh, what do you attribute some of that success to? In all truthfulness, the people that I have been honored to work with, from the get-go with Marshall Sipkins, who brought me into this business, to the people that I have helped in this business, from uh, Judy Tupper, Jane Sherwin, John Lundberg, Joe Durand. It's just been a wonderful trip. The people have made it all worthwhile. That's great. Now, I understand you kind of fell into the business a little bit. You were sort of doing something else in the beginning. How did that work out? That's very true. I was selling uh, container packaging for a company called Twin City Bottle, and they had a division off on the side that decorated the container packaging that we sold and also printed some ashtrays. And one day, Marshall Sipkins walked in my office and said, pack a bag. I said, why? He said, you're going to Chicago. I said, for how long? He said, a week. He said, what am I going to do? He said, you're going to sell ashtrays. I said to who? He said, I'll explain it on the plane. And quite frankly, from that point forward, I was just so captured by the excitement and the potential of this business, I could not, I, I couldn't be not, could not be a part of it. I had to be a part of it. That's great. Well, Jim, congratulations and thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Derek Block of Touchstone, who is our Distributor Entrepreneur of the, of the Year this evening. Derek, congratulations. Thank you very much. Now, how does it feel to win this award tonight? It's, a, it's an honor. It's a real honor. It's, it's on behalf of our entire organization that we're being recognized, so it's, it's a great honor. Now, Derek, you, you kind of fell into the market a little bit and um, started soon after college, I believe. Now, can you tell us a little bit about how you got into the business? I uh, was working in the environmental business and we were buying some promotional product at the time and um, one thing led to another. The, the business I was working for sold. I didn't really know what I was going to do and uh, just decided to give it a try and get in the business. Gotcha. That's great. Now, Touchstone, I believe it's about 275% growth over the last couple of years. That's quite a bit. So uh, what do you attribute some of that success to? You know, we, uh, we put a plan together about three years ago. Um, put the plan in place and then just really started recruiting an executive team um, and started really operating to a plan before that we were probably a lot like most of the companies in the industry or people that get into it and they just kind of start and uh, but we put a focus plan together for growth pulled together a great executive team um, I was fortunate enough to get a great business partner that gave us the equity to finance the business now, Touchstone also won our fastest growing distributor award, so we're here with a pretty decorated yeah. person this evening. Well, thank Congratulations. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Linda McCabe of the Incentive Gallery, who just won our Best Cone Humanitarian Award. Linda, congratulations. Thank you very much. So, Linda, how does it feel to win this award this evening? It's a great honor. I appreciate being noticed, and volunteering is a, a good thing to do. Now, you, you do a lot of work for an organization called the Sojourner Truth House. What can you tell us about that organization and what you do with them? Well, Sojourner Truth House is a shelter for battered women and their children, and I've been involved for more years than I care to admit. I uh, started out as a, actually a volunteer and then a staff person and then got into this industry about 15 years ago, and now I still volunteer and help them raise money. That's great. And do you incorporate the, the business into, into what they do at all? You bet. Certainly, we. my specialty is running events and um, auctions, and I'm always one of the favorite donors, not per, also personally and through business, and then also help run with the process and help them raise the money itself. That's great. Well, Linda, thanks for your time this evening, and congratulations again on winning the award. Thank you very much. Thank you. So that's it. We talked to all the winners tonight. Thanks so much for tuning in and listening to what they had to say. Signing off from the Field Museum in Chicago, Illinois, Andy Cohen for ASI-TV.